Almost 35 years old and over 240 flavors later, Harrell's ice cream is a local legend and favorite amongst ice cream lovers. Founder Steve Harrell is, Harrell rather, is retiring and we're going to squeeze the secrets out of him about what made his ice cream business a sweet success. He's also joined by his business partner Judy Harrell and the COO Stefan Wormbrand who will keep churning out everyone's beloved favors as Steve makes his transition to retirement. Thank you all so much for joining me today and we have a bunch of ice cream flavors here as well that have some very interesting and unique names that's for sure but we're gonna start first with how did this become such a local living legend where did Harold's ice cream come from I grew up in Washington DC and we had uh, the family would make ice cream out in the backyard uh, frequently and so I've never been involved in ice cream commercially but I, I remember the funness and uh, you know, everybody taking a turn at the crank, uh, having a good time making some homemade ice cream. Um, so uh, actually my first ice cream store was in Somerville, Mass, Steve's Ice Cream, which I opened in 1973 and inter introduced some new concepts there. Um, I left the Boston area and came to Northampton and in 1980 opened Harold's Ice Cream in Thorns Market, where it is now. Now, as you're transitioning into retirement and Judy and Stefan are taking over, and but really nothing's going to change because you guys are going to still keep on bringing out the same old ice cream. Yes, uh, Steve and I have been partners um, for, you know, 30 years or so. And um, we've been involved in all flavor making and business operations and expansions into jarred products for grocery chains. And, you know, we did them together. So, um, I think that I don't see any significant, you know, changes in the future with the exception of, you know, I have a goal of 366 flavors. So even in a leap year, you can have a different <laughs> different flavor every day if you want. And we, you know, we, we have our own real chocolate sprinkles. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently we released one of our managers came up with the idea of bottling our hot chocolate. All right, so let's get to start talking about all these flavors that you're mentioning. Of course, this is the crux of what you guys are, how, where Harold's is founded on. So we have several different unique flavors. So Judy, why don't you do me the favor of, let's start with Snow Day. Actually, I would start or with which Private one? Stock Vanilla. All right, let's start with and Private we'll, Stock Vanilla. Because we don't want you to kill the taste buds before, okay. you know, we're going we're gonna to make you taste these. <laughs> all force right. you. And you have to tell um. me, oh, you can't force me with ice cream. Trust me, I'll volunteer for every single flavor. So Private Stock Vanilla. Right, it Sorry. was originally made um, for an event for Julia Childs. This spe specific product is made with the highest level of Madagascar vanilla that you could nice. get and it's balanced with the 14% butter fat so there's a, a, a real lovely you know flavor to it and um, it was part of the dessert profile for the event and um, I was unfortunately unable to go to the event, so Steve and our daughter Jessie, for her first formal at the age of nine, went to the event and had a great time. She tasted her first wine, if I remember, and it was delicious. It was a wow. lot of fun. <laughs> we'll yeah. skip past that one. All right, so let's talk about the next flavor. I would go next to Snow Day. Snow Day. Now, okay. Snow Day is our newest flavor. This is different than going out when it's snowing and just sticking your tongue out in the snow to catch. Snowflakes, well, right? Kind of in the long, Steve well, had an idea. Yeah, go ahead. Well, this first of all, you love, don't you love that name? I mean, yes. Snow Day, there's problems with snow days, but well, that's for what the I think children, of snow it's day, like, you go out and you just have fun, you know, and it's cozy and uh, have a good time. You don't have to go to school. Yippee. But okay. um, so this flavor um, is, it's white or off-white as you can see, mm -hmm. uh, but it is actually a, a white chocolate flavor. And so it kind of hints of coming in and having that nice cup of warm hot chocolate after you've been sledding yes. all afternoon. And I taste and, marshmallows in there. Yes. And marshmallows, the mini marshmallows mm. that you might have floating on top of your and hot chocolate. And maybe a speck or two of chocolate. And white some white chocolate, chocolate chips. White chocolate, that's what it is. To round Very it good all palate. Yeah. Very delicious. <laughs> now it's a funny thing that growing up I didn't love chocolate, milk or dark chocolate, I, but I liked white chocolate and my, um, my nanny used to call it hot vanilla. She made it with white chocolate. 
So when Steve first made this one and I tasted the first test, I was like, this is I'm back favorite. to you know, Mrs. Tembrook. This is great, you know. Cool. Which one are you going to uh, next? I'm gonna go with Purple Cow. Purple Cow, okay. Now we now, know cows are black and white usually for the most part, but this one is purple. And this seems to be a popular one. This is a We're very popular flavor. Um, okay. Purple Cow is black raspberry with d dark chocolate chips and uh, chunks and white chocolate chunks. Oh, okay. And so if you can imagine a cow being purple with those blotches of black and white. It's a very fashionable yeah. cow, that's what I'm Holstein. thinking. Holstein, it's a Holstein, Holstein. cow okay. that's purple. Okay. And um, it, when we started to, to make this um, originally, we had no expectation of how popular it would become. Now the last one, but definitely not the least because we've got hundreds, uh, hundreds of, flavors, of flavors, is jalapeno. I mean, now we brought this just for you to taste. Who thinks of that for an ice cream? He does. <laughs> <laughs> um, now jalapeno takes the, fr the jalapeno pepper, the fruit, mm -hmm. um, and it's really a fruit, folks, it's not a vegetable. Um, <laughs> and you, so when you, when you eat something spicy and hot like a jalapeno, what you would normally do to cool it in your mouth is to drink a dairy product. Right. So what this idea is you're going to get the cool first of the dairy, and then you're going to, don't take too much at a time, <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to get hit with the heat. Am I going to be able to talk after this? Yeah, oh, sure. I think so. It's an after well, effect. Because as Judy was saying, then... Wow. The cream just like uh, wow. soothes your mouth back to normal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right. So the idea is that you Sorry, do your eyes so right now. Right. Just a little bit. I've never, it's like jalapeno, but it's ice cream and it's, of course it is. And what wow. people do is they, they taste it and then they wait for the effect and then they taste it again to cool it and then they get the effect again and then they taste it again. And Wow. Um, that's so, definitely, I want to finish this, but I probably shouldn't finish it on camera because no, I'm probably not going to be able to finish gonna, gonna talking and start crying. And, and yeah. I don't want to be crying. This is a happy occasion. <laughs> you're retiring. You're going to have, you're going to have so much fun doing everything that you haven't been able to do the past 30, 35 years because you've been putting your whole entire focus and effort into Harold's ice cream, but you're going to be enjoying retirement that, with free ice cream. Written into the paperwork yes. is yes, my, it is uh, contract. Smart man. He can have as much ice cream as he wants. There smart you go. man, that's the uh, way to do it. Well, let me let me tell you about that. But first, there's just one more flavor that we didn't mention, sort of, and that is when people often ask me what my favorite flavor is, mm -hmm. I say hot fudge, and then, well, but of course, I have to have some ice cream to go with it, and so it's, it's sort of like fudge. I think there was the, <laughs> the hot fudge was in my thinking before having an ice cream business was. So this is, uh, it's very important that we do make our own hot fudge in the, uh, in the store. And mm. uh, it's really uh, just fabulous. It's an all it's natural wonderful. product. It contains cool. no nice corn and, syrup. Nice and rich. You don't hear sugar. that often. Yeah, that's very and good. And butter, a little butter in there and heavy cream. Well, we won't go through the whole thing, but. Um, <laughs> are you still anyway. going to be making ice cream or thinking of flavors while you're retired? Or are you truly, retirement means you're gonna go on a beach and write a book or Can read I the newspaper? Uh, well, let me start. <laughs> okay. And uh, I, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a year of sabbatical. Okay. and then go into retirement at the conclusion of that. Uh, because I still, uh, I, I will be participating on a limited basis okay. uh, with things like uh, flavors and suppliers and ingredient sources and things like that and the equipment uh, that Judy and Stefan know a lot about, but they'll probably have a few questions as right. we go along. So, and uh, of course I've been going to my store in Northampton uh, five or six days a week for 33, 34 years. So um, there will be a transition period. Uh, that said, uh, in the first week or two so far, I've loved being retired. It's great. Uh, yes, lots of free time. It's wonderful. Um, and I do, uh, I've actually already started writing a book nice. about my experiences in ice cream. Uh, I've had a couple of uh, book contracts with publishers, but those are all about ice cream recipes, mm. and that's all well and good, but my book is not gonna be a, a book of recipes, it's more the human side, and I'm going to answer the questions that people have always asked me over, over time. How I got started, yes. why, you know, what's it like, and so forth. So, um, I'm working on that already. Uh, and also, I, uh, 
am a producer at NCTV, Northampton Community Television in Northampton, the cable access uh, 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 station, and uh, they've already put some of my films onto uh, their Vimeo website, but uh, I intend to pick that up again, too. It looks like you'll have plenty of Plenty of things to do while you look forward to retirement. And thank you so much, everyone, for coming on board. Steve, Judy, Stefan, for telling us about this exciting time in Harold's Ice Cream's life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Glad to be here.